three, an official send-off for a serviceman who spent 24 years in the Navy. Fellow Navy officers donned their full uniform to bid farewell to one of their own. Warrant Officer Mujala's funeral is the second full military funeral to be held for the three submarines who perished in Cape Town last month. They died during a vertical transfer exercise involving a South African Air Force Maritime Lynx helicopter and the submarine SAS Mantati. Mujela was remembered for serving his country with dignity. Our gallant fighter and hero, Warrant Officer Mujela, lived up to his pledge to serve and defend his country and its people with honor, dignity, courage, and integrity. Until his last minute, on this earth, he was indeed a true servant of South Africa and Africa. He contributed his life to ensure that there could be peace in the world. A board of inquiry will commence with investigations into the events that led to the death of the Navy trio. It will take over a month to complete its work and the findings will be made public after it has been presented to Navy officials. The South African Navy will investigate the circumstances that caused this terrible, this terrible tragedy. I have convened the Court of Inquiry number 5 of 2023 to do justice. This board will be led by a captain who has commanded the Euron class submarine in the past. They will start their preparations for the board in order to commence on the 11th of October. I've given them a month to complete their investigation. I want them to have freedom to investigate everything that is required, interview all the relevant role players, and then present their findings to me. Three Navy buildings will be named after the three officers. The last of the trio, Master Warrant Officer Matipa's funeral, will be held at Khadi Khale outside Bolokwane on Sunday. Matlako Komane, SABC News, Bolokwane in Limpopo.